All right, we're live. Here we go, guys. Let's welcome Very Social. Today, we're going to be talking about the magic of Instagram stories and real estate. What a great combo. I mean, if you've been part of this whole Instagram stories development over the last few years, you're seeing how amazing and impactful it is. So I'm, I'm excited to hear about what Ryan and Daria have gotten. Of course, I've got Jeff, my co-host from Hi. St. Louis. Hi. What's up, buddy? You know what? I am ex as excited, if not more excited than you, because A, I've been talking to these guys, and they are freaking brilliant. They create sexy content, and I'm actually going to be working with them, so I'm even more excited uh, to continue to learn from these guys, because folks, Instagram is the future of social media. It probably already is, but I think for most of us in real estate, we're still stuck in Facebook. This is something you should be paying attention to and starting to grow your audience. So I got it, guys. I agree. All right. Before we get started, I want to say hi to everybody out there in the virtual world, both on Facebook, YouTube, and of course here on the webinar. Before we get started, let us know what city and state or country you're from. I know we, we get a few people from Portugal, Australia, South Africa, obviously Canada, Mexico. We're all over the world. So I just want to see where you're at. Boston, Eric. Eric always writes Boston. You ever notice that? So I, lo I love that he does. Eric, I love that, buddy. Orange County, that's close to me. Savannah, Denver. I'm loving this. So Philippines, look at that. Somebody's in the Philippines. A few people are in the Philippines. I love that. All right, Ryan, Daria, I know you have a presentation. We're going to go deep into how you help your customers develop Instagram stories and use real estate, use who they are so that people connect with them. I'm excited to see what you guys got. So who wants to go first? Daria, Ryan, take it over. Yes. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for having us. You know, we're a big fan of, of lab coats and you guys are like number one on Facebook. So it's nice that you're open-minded and you're like, you know what? Instagram, that's where all the numbers are. That's where people are at. That's how you can engage and connect. And like, that's really our bread and butter. So we appreciate you guys, um, you know, recognizing, um, you know, what we're good at. And, you know, I, I think that uh, together, you know, we can help explain all these agents out there how to use Instagram stories to grow their business. Because I I'm an agent myself and our agency formed because Daria took over my Instagram and like business started to flow. Like she really helped me rebrand myself. And you know, the way that I connected with my sphere of influence is through the Instagram stories. I feel that Instagram and Instagram stories, it's kind of like a newsletter every single day. It's the best way to reach your sphere, your friends, your family, your colleagues. Um, you know, with, with content, like content about yourself personally, about the market, about your new listing. You know, it's a great way for you to put, to, to bring knowledge to your sphere um, so they can reach out to you and buy and sell real estate. No, definitely. I feel like um, being a real estate agent is just so much more than showcasing your listings. You have to show your personality, like your, your brand, who you are, where your interests with your family, where you like to go to vacation, where you favorite restaurants, because we feel like all of these things are so important when somebody chooses this agent to work with, uh, because everyone can go show the house, but it's such an important decision in one's life. And they want to make sure they really connect to that person who is selling the house or showcasing the house. And so they feel, um, they feel that you, they understand what you want. So we feel like showcasing all aspects of your personality is just so important. Uh, of course, besides your brand. Um, but we, and we feel like story is such an amazing tool to do so because we tend to filter our in feed so much because it's in the way our like online resume, our portfolio. So once the person goes and judges if they want to follow you, make like a decision about who you are, they look at your feed, like they glance over maybe like seven seconds and um you want to make sure it's like more perfect perfect more curated so you can't necessarily post like your favorite restaurant and your meal every time you know like you go to like to the restaurants so that's why we feel like stories is such a like it's an amazing playground to showcase so much um and the more natural it is the better so i guess today we just want to really talk about 
stories and how like what kind of topics you can be covering on your stories, um, how you can showcase your listings, your personalities, uh, what are some tools on Instagram you can use. Um, and yeah, we're excited to share with you guys. We also brought some samples from our clients uh, that we have for also real estate agents. I, lo I love how you said samples. It makes me think of when I go to the ice cream store. It's like, I want <laughs> so yeah. I, lo I love that you said that because yeah. Let's sample it. Let's sample it. Um, if you want, we can kind of like start and like I can screen share. And then um, I know Ryan, um, he loves talking about him. And I actually, we test lots of things on Ryan because he's also a broker. And uh, we use some of the great examples from his page. So he can kind of go over what he did there too. Okay. Let me just screen share quickly. And just also this, I feel like the one you know, when I say connect through Instagram stories, like I feel like people feel more comfortable to send a DM, a direct message, we'll be saying DM a lot, um, to like ask a question. Like when, when you have an in-feed post, like, you know, and they, people comment, it's usually not the type of a comment to create a dialogue. But, you know, the one thing that I can say with our Instagram stories is that they are creating conversations. Um, I, I mean, I think, we're, when we take on a client, I would say it's, you know, 150% increase in direct message. And even post COVID, um, the, we're seeing upwards of increase up to 400%. You know, people are having conversations on direct message, DM. Yeah. And I feel like the stories, it's like such a great way to start a conversation with somebody because not everyone will go and like, comment under your post on Instagram, only like the brave ones because people are like afraid to speak up sometimes with being judged. But like when you actually post on your stories, like polls, like um, questions or something really engaging, people know it's gonna be only just you who's gonna see their response. So we see such an enormous amount of DMs for our clients uh, from stories. That's why we'll see some tools we're using uh, to really simulate this conversation. You know, hey guys, can I can I say something too about stories too? And and if, if you guys don't pay attention, and I'm talking to the audience now, if you don't pay attention to what Instagram is doing, which is evolving really really fast because it's trying to stay in competition with TikTok, uh, stories are like where it's going, right? I mean, you that's why we're talking about this today because if you go through your feed on Instagram now, you start to see your store like they're promoting stories in your feed. In other words, when these platforms are 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 over promoting a piece of their platform that tells you use it and use the hell out of it because you're going to get a ton more engagement. Yeah. Now Instagram is introducing reels. So mm. video, it's a really, really the next big thing. It is a really big thing, but I feel like it's something that people should just heavily transition to. I'm going to shoot a reel right now. while you guys talking? Just so you know. <laughs> oh, amazing. Good idea. Um, and Good so idea. just real quick, before we go over some of our, our highlights, um, you know, the very social team is made up of graphic designers, copywriters, social media coordinators, and Daria is our own artistic director. So, you know, there's our whole team is touching every piece of these, these stories. And, and it, takes a, it takes a lot of talent. Like our, when we're working with our clients, we're not providing some automated service. Like there's actually man hours um, that are going into like producing content. So it just, it looks beautiful. It's engaging. Um, and you're going to stick. Yeah. It's really highly customized and we're really helping our clients to like, we'll lead them through, through the whole process to like give them idea of what type, what type of content should be producing to helping them with like the lighting or how to position their cameras. And then we take it, we edit it and then we write copy for you. So basically everything from A to Z, all you have to do is just to go and just talking to the camera and film you listening. Um, everyone sees the screen really well, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let me go. Oh, so um, this one um, is one of our like really good content like pillars that we use for our agent clients, which is a weekly market update or monthly market update where we um, take all of the news or any updates about the market in your area and we post it on the stories uh or on in feed we usually do monthly updates on in feed for our clients and weekly on um on our stories because we truly believe uh providing value and 
um, tips and knowledge um, in your stories is something that people will track people and will make them keep coming back. So you can see like a little sample here on the on the left how one of the market updates look like for the stories. It's more detailed. But uh, when we do market update for in feed, we create like a nice visual graphic, which looks really like usually it's like a graph which will show the trend. And then you when you slide to the next picture, you will see like more text. So this way it's like more uh, visually appealing. Um, here's so wait, just to go back, just to go on the market report. So, you know, we work with a lot of the brokerages are providing uh, market reports for their agents. So they'll forward that over to us and we'll package it and make it look good. And when we work with our clients, everything is on brand. You know, we want to have the, the right font, the right colors. So it just, it's always in sync because, you know, we are our own brand. And, you know, if it's either through an in-feed or stories, like we need it to align. So this is a story that Ryan did. You want to talk about this one? Yeah, so there's actually nothing behind me. I was really scared. I, I can't even believe <laughs> I got up there and did that. You can see that I'm like pretty scared. So it's, um, you know, you, you always want to be creating content. Um, and um, I think behind the scenes is always a great way to like showcase the property, to show real, um, you know, real raw content. Um, and then Daria, why don't you talk about how we, what we did with the design factor here? Um, so yeah, I just adding to Ryan a little bit, like it's really important to show the BTS of like how you work, how you like, even prepare your listings to go live on the market. You showcase how seriously you take your listings and Ryan like loves to show like all the BTS that he does, like all the videos, all the uh, photo material that he produces. We believe like showing all this like dirty work that you do for your clients is so important. And that's why we believe BTS is usually, um, it's usually like the really engaging way, really like silly and funny, but also shows how um, how amazing you are what you do and how seriously you take it. So whenever Ryan has um, a listing or our other agents would please take your BTS, show like all the creativity behind it. And it's also a really great teaser, just say, oh, like stay tuned, new listing is coming up. Um, so we love, to, we love to tease our listing. Um, and about a design, um, as you may know, like people have short attention spans and there's sometimes so much you want to showcase. That's why we do um, like doing collages like that. Um, so we can put more images into one, into one slide. Uh, and also try to like make it like a mix of videos and photos. So it's also just like more engaging. Um, when it comes to design, we do love to mix it up with like like professional graphics, like as you can see, like on the left or in the middle, but also if you like using like generic and like um, built in Instagram tools, like polls on the right here, you can see, would you live in this house? Yes or no? Like the simplicity makes it like really natural. So people like know it's you actually like posting it because if everything is like perfectly designed, people know like you have agency or like it's really like, you know, too perfect almost. So we strongly believe in combination of like beautiful designs and something really natural. Um, and then just a really uh, a fun tip here is what you do is you just you swipe up on this and you see a people who actually hit yes and you hit no. And so I always engage with those people. If someone said, who, would you live in this home? Yes, I'm gonna reach out and be like, hey, do you wanna see it? Or, you know, um, always, um, you know, we always try to have some sort of call to action with, with our stories. And, um, you know, you could actually see who's, um, who's answering your questions or, um, or the polls and, you know, reach out to those people. Like that's part of how the conversation begins. Definitely. So here, um, another sample we have, which is good. Um, hey, Daria, Daria, before you go there real quick, I think it's important to point out to the analytics, uh, Ryan, you mentioned the analytics, how you can swipe up Instagram's analytics are arguably as good as any platform. Like you can really dial into what's working, who's following, who's engaging. Uh, so it's really important to understand how to do that. Oh yeah. A real, a real quick question for you guys too. Brian asked the question. Um, and this is a good question. It's a valid question. If, he says that if, if uh, how do you make something that you would want to read on your stories because you only have 10 seconds and it's really hard for someone to really, you know, take something in in such a short amount of time. I know the answer to this, but I want you guys to, to give the answer as to, as to how you would go about sharing something a little bit more profound. Well, there are so many different ways. Um, let's say, first of all, even if it's 
on one slide, you can always pause the slide and read the whole thing. Uh, but I do understand how that's not really engaging. People like, oh my God, so much text, you know? So what we like to do, sometimes we do this layer, layering effect where let's say you have three paragraphs, you know? And then we like on the first slide, we post the first paragraph and then you tap, it's going to be a second one pops up and then you tap a third one. So it kind of like, you know, makes it more like engaging step by step. Or what we do, we, let's say if it's an article or if you're featured like in a blog post or, or something like that, we like to um, usually like put the highlights of the article, like the, the header, the main points, maybe the photo of the article, and then um, say link in bio for the full thing or swipe up if you have more than 10,000. So, but yeah, I completely agree. Putting like the whole article on stories, it's highly doubtful someone's gonna read the whole thing. So we would try to usually summarize it for our, for our customers and then they want to um, lead their audience to see the full article, we can always do link in bio. Does it answer the question? Yeah, I think so. I think you're great. Um, so we can probably, and in terms of analytics, um, really important. And also you can see um, how many people actually exited your story and how many people actually like press next slide. So we see that whenever there is actually a question or poll or something where you're asking your audience to engage in, um, it's actually when they pause the most. So it's really important to like really make them feel important, like you actually care about their opinion. Um, so these stats really help, adding to Jeff's point. Um, then there's another one we have here. Ryan, you want to talk about this one? Um, yeah, so um, I love like going out and seeing property as any broker. So whenever I do that, I kind of line it up with the team and be like, um, you know, I'm going uh, downtown, I'm going to see two bedroom. Um, and I'll like usually just like take one or two shots of each listing that I go to. Maybe I'll tag the listing broker. Um, but this is kind of like prepping like these apartments that I saw in like Hudson Yards. Um, and just uh, I think it, it, work, it, it, it works well because it just shows that I'm out there. I'm seeing property. I think the number one thing to being a successful broker is product knowledge. You, you have to go out there. You and see property, you know, know in, in New York City where I'm located, like you got to know the buildings, you know, you and like here I did a new development tour of two different competing buildings um, in, in Chelsea that I'm actually going to be doing an in-feed post about. But like, you know, the graphic, the design team kind of like puts the images together. So it just, it, it aligns and, um, you know, showing, I'll probably do a, a, with a, an apartment, uh, apartment tour story i'll probably do like three or four frames and really you know mix it up to kind of like showcase the highlight of like each home yeah it's really important to have like really look like usually when you want to showcase your apartments forget the lengthy descriptions just go look straight to the point like baths bathroom price like dm and call to action super important and as ryan mentioned always make sure to add geo locations or the broker brokerage like tag like the everyone, you know, because the more tags, the more geo tags, the more exposure you will get. And sometimes you never know, someone can be browsing Hudson Yard's geotech story and then suddenly you'll see this apartment, you know, and then they find Ryan. So we feel like there's always a chance in these things. So whenever you can tag somebody or location, go for it. Hey guys, can you guys answer a question that um, somebody asked about where it says tap to see highlights? Can you explain what that means? Um, so basically, there are some highlights where um, Ryan, let's say, saves all of the listings he has, let's say, um, like for rent or for sale or new listings, you know, or sold. So he says, like, basically, if you want to see more information about my like uh, current listings, go to my highlights, which let's say named new listings. Um, and for instance, he could be posting many stories about the same apartment, but they're not necessarily because they're expiring after 24 hours. That's why he's like, go to my highlights to see more information about it. That's what you meant, Ryan, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, th I think so. I think, I think if, if he has another question, um, or Julia, if she has mm -hmm. another question, just go ahead and ask again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Ryan, want to talk about your infamous yeah, well, life? Why don't you go, go hit that video? Today on Insta Live, I'm speaking with Jeff Mays. He's a master trainer with Tom Ferry. He is Mr. Operations, so we are going to be speaking everything you need to know 
operations for real estate agents. See you at 1.30 p.m. So first off, I'm a huge fan of Insta Live. Um, when, when we were in the quarantine, um, I, I just started using it and I was interviewing, um, I was interviewing different professionals in New York City. So I was interviewing, you know, business owners, restaurant owners, um, spa owners, gym owners. I, you know, I that was uh, one of the master trainers for Tom Ferry, just to kind of like be the mayor of my city. I'm, you know, hear Tom Ferry say that all the time. So what Very Social did is, you know, we tagged the people that, that were in the video and um, just like the point of this, which we wanted to highlight is that it's not easy to get on film and talk. Like I'm not that great at it. I don't know, I'm kind of embarrassed in that, that film anyways. But, you know, I think what Very Social does is they use, we use really good graphics to kind of like highlight what we're saying. And it's not too much words that, that get lost, um, but kind of like, it, it, it transitions, um, it transitions really well. Um, so yeah, right into this um, live show, basically we had guests weekly and then that's something we can actually also help um, to you guys like to actually produce something like this. Um, if it's, whether it is uh, in life you're doing or even like videos you pre-record and post on stories, we feel like it's also a really engaging way to showcase your expertise uh, in certain industries. So even if you want to go in front of the camera and just talk about like top five tips for uh, new home buyers right now, if you, or like sellers and just like talk like five points in front of the camera, we can really help you to package it in a really nice way. Um, in the first slide, it was like more natural, right? I was just speaking in front of the camera, but here you can see um, our graphic design um, offering that we, we can also provide. A recommendation about the money, what makes projects go, is cash flow. Today I have a very exciting show, Broker Talk, New York City style. Brooklyn, I do think it's going to be tougher than before COVID. There's tons of uncertainty, you know, there's no... Yes, yeah, so this is like more an example of something more professionally edited, kind of like showcasing the highlights um, of the show that Ryan had, or it could be a video, let's say a long video, we can do like a little highlight for, for that. And I think with the Insta Live, it was just a great way to create content. You know, as a broker, I feel like I'm like out and about every day. I'm showing properties, I'm meeting people, I'm going to restaurants. And I was just like stuck at home. So, you know, I just tried to connect with um, as many people as I can. And I actually got a listing and just went in the contract with a personal injury attorney. His, uh, his uh, Insta handle is Law Bulldog. He has over like 150,000 um followers and I saw like this personal injury attorney who was doing all these memes so I got him on my show we end up connecting and then you know he reached out to me a month ago and says you know what I'm actually listing my property and I knew of him and I knew that he had other broker relationships so I was surprised that he even reached out to me um but he just like loved how active that I was on on insta and I if you look at my um if you look at my um insta instagram you could see that I actually did a video with his bulldog um, and we, we just sold the apartment. So like, this is a great way to like reach out to people that you may not necessarily know, connect with them and build relationships. And then as far as like the content, you know, you're, you're tagging them, you're doing geo tags, like it's, you're just getting more exposure. And I, I got a lot more followers by doing that. Yeah. And also advise like other agents to go live with other agents. Like it doesn't matter from your brokerage or from another brokerage and just like uh, do Q and A's or do like a video that you post at the same time. This way you can like reach out to their audience and then you're gonna cr cross promote and get more eyes, you know, on your page. So there's so many ways to actually utilize like Instagram Live and um, this feature. Um, of course, always like set reminders for any events you're having on your stories, whether it's open house or virtual tour or whatever it is, just don't use that opportunity to remind your audience um, that it's happening. Daria. Can you quickly explain how you made that frame? Did you use Canva or what did you use? The one in the middle? Um, so the one in the middle is actually our videographer who is a professional um, with Photoshop and all of these amazing tools. He designed it because you can see you, our like uh, branding is on it. Cool. Uh, so it's actually one of our big assets on our team. Um, we, we do have amazingly skillful people to personalized frames like that 
um, according to your brand. We'll like get your logos, your fonts, everything uh, about your brand and help you to create something like this. But if you want to try this at home, of course, if you want to do it yourself, um, I would recommend Canva. It's a great tool. Also, um, I know um, Unfold uh, It's a really good one. Um, also, VSEO. Like, there are so many different apps. Um, but I say if you want something customized, it requires Photoshop. Um, but I know Canva right now actually has an option where you can drag your logo to uh, graphic posts. Perfect. And then one easy question here, if you either one of you can answer it or even Jeff, just so it's not me here. Where do you find Instagram Live? You mean where, like, uh, where on the interface? Well, I mean, I know there's the IGTV app, right? So there's that. But uh, some people are saying, well, where do we go to find Instagram, e IGTV, like on so, the app itself? So basically, there's an option to record your live. And then once it's recorded, you save it to IGTV. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. And then, so. Yeah, and there, like, when you actually save it to IGTV, like, in the title, you can write, like, I don't know, August 26th. Um, I know Instagram lives so people will, will know it's alive um, that's been um, that's been recorded also like uh, for instance Ryan has a highlight that's called like Instagram live with Ryan and he loves to save all of the highlights and all the videos there so there are a few ways but I would definitely recommend saving to IGTV because it's just more like easy way to like find things yeah I agree anything you want to add guys no good all right so another thing that we do recommend for um, Instagram story con stories content is working with other businesses and um, sh like showcasing them and tagging them. For instance, like you're trying to sell an apartment in West Village. So we do recommend um, tagging all the amazing like restaurants, fitness studios, parks, whatever it is around the area will showcase your expertise. Of course, uh, you know the, the neighborhood really well um, and also showcase your taste. So you're kind of thinking, okay, what kind of buyer um, like, I'm gonna like sell this apartment to? What kind of food he may or she may like? And kind of like doing this like research, you know, and really showing, I see this person going to sugar fish and uh, I don't know, like uh, Starbucks for, for coffee, like, you know, and you go take photos of that place. So you can even borrow these pictures from these businesses and tagging them and we found this practice so amazing and rewarding because these businesses love when you um when you promote them they repost you they like they start following you look like around i know like just so many of them that he actually started partnering up with them for open houses and like they would cater you know and things like that so we do recommend doing these neighborhood highlights um and tag the businesses um so, so yeah, so this is, um, our clients have been really successful with um, when we launch a new listing in a certain neighborhood where, you know, we're, we're talking about the neighborhood, we're talking about the restaurants, the coffee shops, the museums, um, you know, uh, the subway stations, just like the main, the main points. And so we're taking really good pictures or we're finding them on the web, we're tagging them. And then we're like, oh yeah, and check out our new listing that's in Chelsea. And so it's been... It's been a great like visual and, and a collaboration with the businesses in the neighborhood to, to launch these new listings. Yeah, and also um, in the last night here, you see Ryan just showing how he like takes like his approach into like showing the place to clients, how he wants to like chat with them. And he like here you can see. One of my favorite things to do when I'm showing an apartment is have, having one of the clients sit down in a special spot in the apartment and just relax and enjoy the space. At my newest listing, I think this is the spot. So kind of showcasing how you treat your customers is also important. Um, this is like a nice little example of that. Like showcasing your style, your personality, how per personalized you are. I think it's really, really important. And uh, Daria, can you go into how you help with that? Because mm -hmm. I think one thing that that we did it with lab coats at the very beginning when we started using your company was you told us hey drop everything that you're doing into this place so that we can grab it from there and then create a brand a better brand right mm -hmm. can you go over that little process just so that people understand what you do 
Yeah, exactly. We, of course, don't expect you like, to just like, create this whole thing. We're just like, oh, yeah, we post for you now. So when we uh, take over your account, we do an audit for your page where we like see like your previous activity, your numbers, how like your audience have been responding to your content, and then we really analyze it and study it. And then we, of course, use our expertise and we uh, give you recommendations and build a strategy for you. Um, we break down like your content into pillars. So we're saying, okay, like once a week, it should be new listing. Uh, second, like second day should be like our neighborhood highlights. Um, another day should be testimonial. So you really know like the type of content we're gonna be preparing for you. And we do give you like advices, what type of content to create. We can even narrow it down to like a weekly basis. Okay, on Monday, maybe you should this video on Tuesday, should this video. Uh, so and I'm sure you guys also have so much on your phone. You just don't think it's good enough. Uh, but what we say to our clients when we share our job box folder with them, like upload like as much as you can. Like sometimes you just never know what's going to make it. And um, also the more natural and real it is, the better. The funny, the silly, not perfect, we love it. So basically we'll help you, we'll go through this content, we'll uh, edit it for you, we'll send it for approval, nothing's gonna go live without you actually approving um, everything that we do. So, um, and we also say like, you know, like, don't be afraid that this happened a month ago, no one knows. So we can always like repurpose content and things like that. So we really like, um, help you from like very beginning to give you ideas on what type of content you need to produce and we'll also help you like even with technical things make sure like you don't film against the light or make sure you hold your camera more like uh in the middle than in the bottom so we will really help you and guide you at the beginning of course we'll take more effort to like get yeah. used to it and we usually notice like at the beginning it's a big acid job that happens and like yes. lots of like learning and back and forth but once you get used to it you just kind of keep adding on to, to your folder and it just becomes like a second nature almost that i think that that's key right there because for us it was a little bit of a, of a learning curve i'm like okay got it there's a lot of work at the beginning on our part but then you guys take over two questions here mm -hmm. uh, for either one of you ryan or daria or, or even jeff Steve's asking, how do you reuse an IG story that has great content? Anything you can do to reuse it? I think so. It just, I think it's, um, of course, it depends what kind of topic it is. If it's not time sensitive, you can definitely repurpose it. Um, just like come up with a different, um, with a different um, you know, wording or a different edit. If you feel like it is. And of course, I would recommend like repurposing like a week later, maybe like a few months later. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely do it. And sometimes like even like lifestyle shoots and things like that, like we feel like you can definitely archive them and put them up there because you keep on getting new followers, you know, like every month and not everyone is going to go like down your feet to see those old pictures or like your old highlights. So definitely. Yeah. All right. Um, and, and wait, just real quick on that. Um, I'm actually repurposing one of my old highlights. It's actually um, two tours I did. I was uh, I was wearing that in the construction hat in the, the beginning of the the deck. Um, you know they were two separate. They one was like a month ago. The other one was maybe two weeks ago. And so now I'm gonna put them together as a collage on my in feed. And I'm gonna talk about new development in New York City. So like I'm repurposing two pictures that I like that did really well on my stories and saying you know what let me use let me use these as an in feed and and talk about something that I want to talk about and like. That's like Instagram is picture heavy, um, but the copy is really important. And, you know, our team of, of copywriters, like, you know, we get really technical when it comes to, um, to, you know, writing about certain like market updates or whatever. We, we pretty much take the lead that, that you guys want to go into and we just elaborate on it and really always try to have like a call to action. Yeah. And for instance, like you look at say, become an expert uh, expert on like upper east side and you want to showcase that you can like take your stories like all this like old upper east side listing you had and maybe compile it with like two other upper east side listings that you sold and kind of put a story together of how like successful you are on upper east side so that's another great like way to repurpose your old content all right and then how often do you recommend somebody that that wants to do this more routinely, how often should they be posting to their feed? How often should they be posting to, to stories and so forth? What do you recommend? Um, as an active 
real estate agent, I would recommend posting at least three times a week on your, on your main grid. Um, and I would say five times a week on stories. I would, I think it's a good number. It's not overdoing it. Um, I know, like I say, I know people who do it every day, like let's say who are super on top of it, but I think to start three times a week would be good. Uh, just to build up your grid and like have a different type of content happening. And for the stories, I think daily connection like with your with your clients is so important. Like post on stories every day and maybe on the weekend, just something more personal, just to showcase like, you know, I'm also human. I make my Sunday pancakes, you know, also like even if you're like naturally just like picture like that, you know, because when people see the same thing all the time, they get tired of it, you know, so you always have to like, come up with something new you have to always grab their attention that's why like we do like uh, monthly reports for you and we really analyze like what worked what didn't work and then come up with the new ideas for you so it's never like we're never stuck in one place where we like give you recommendations once and then stays forever our recommendations actually evolve and change month by month you know, John, I have a, my opinion on that too is, is that you should be posting every single day on your stories. Cause think about it. It's the story of your life. So when I, when I do, when I talk to people about this, I say literally just vomit what you're doing. It's the old Facebook when people were sharing their, their meals on their Facebook feed and you're like, that's annoying, but that's what the stories are designed to do. Share the little intimate details about your life every single day. Oh yeah, of course. And like, I know like I brought up this example, like last webinar, I think, and maybe it's not the best <laughs> example, but like, why do we like watching like reality show, like Kim Kardashian, Kim up with Kardashians. We all judge them, but we're so into it. Like, and it's not like even like selling sunset, for instance, the TV show. Sure. Real estate is incredible. And you look, oh my God, but we're also interested. Okay. What are they doing? Like, who are they friends with? What kind of restaurants they like, you know? And you're like, this is the reason why you're so captivated. So I feel like, like perceive, like think about your Instagram as if it is a reality show. So every type of content is um, part of a big picture. I like that. Jeff, that's actually a really good point. Think of yourself as a reality show. 100%. And, and give a glimpse into your, into your life. I love that, Daria. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what though? That goes back to the question about how they're only 10 seconds and they pop through. You're not going to annoy somebody because that's what they expect. And it's so short, they're going to go through it so fast. So there's literally, I tell people, you cannot overpost on your stories. Your feed, I, Daria hit it on the head, maybe three times a week. But on your stories, every single day, vomit. Like, and, I, and when I say every day, I mean like three or four times a day. Uh, sometimes, Tristan, you know, we see people that are like 10 to 20 times on their story. It's crazy. Well, dude, I think now with, with reels, I mean, on top of that, because reels are getting all the love right now from IG. So I think reels, stories, and then the feed. I mean, you could blow up right now on Instagram a lot. So it's perfect. And it's also, I feel like, like the next story I want to show you um, is from a client. He actually relocated from Manhattan to upstate. And we really had to help him to make that transition from him being like the city Manhattan like luxury broker to like more down to earth like family oriented broker so we had to like really rebrand him and we felt like stories were just so important for uh for that just showcase him as like an, as a neighborhood expert you know to show him oh you know I'm like I'm part of the community I know like the best coffee shops I I love the same I love like I know gardening I love cycling I'm like just like you you know where like when you're undergoing such a big career change or like a relocation it's really important to like connect to like people in that area so we were really trying to like uh, create content for him where like we were tagging all the local businesses we were like targeting all of the local like and our restaurants and like public places and like growing his followers um, in that area. But we felt like stories that would actually help him, him to connect with people in that, uh, in that region. Also, I think for him, and I'm sure everybody knows, you know, uh, that, that the exodus of Manhattan, you know, he kind of transitioned to the right time, but he still wanted to keep in touch with all his fellow brokers that now he was in upstate New York so what we were doing on our growth side is that we were um, targeting certain brokerages 
and we were constantly commenting like great listing, good photo. So, you know, I think as brokers, you get a lot of referrals by connecting with other brokers. So, you know, what he, we were trying to do for him is keep him top of mind uh, by connecting with other brokers. So if they had, so they would know that he was the upstate, you know, the upstate broker that, that any kind of referrals would go his way. And he actually got a few referrals that way. So I think that actually, that worked. Like our growth strategy is very strategic always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see, like we kind of showcased like BTS of the listing he was, um, he was uh, listing. And then once the listing was out, we actually like showcased like the final product with all the professional pictures and um, the details of it. So kind of like you can see like the evolution uh, right there. Um, we also have, um, like let's say, like every uh, agent has their own like interests or thing and style. And you can see how different like the, um, also the design of the, of the stories are. So like Zoya, for instance, she's our um, client. She's a, she's a real estate agent in Scottsdale. And then she like loves art and she loves interior design. So for her, we always um, like, try to highlight like the top interior designers. Uh, we like try to like really engage the audience saying, oh, which like look, look like for instance, like this designer, he like created a sofa, which is like iconic. And we give, let's say three different settings uh, where the sofa was placed. And um, we ask the audience, oh, which one is your favorite, you know? And then after that, we look at a call to action. By the way, if you know, like, I'm a big lover of interior design. So, and I'm also good at, in staging. So if you need my like services, please contact me. So I love, like, that. Hmm? I love that a lot. Did you, did you guys design this whole thing? Yeah. Right here? yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, wow. yes we did. And then like, like for instance, she loves interior design. So we have a lot, a lot of interior design um, content for her. So really like really take into consideration hobbies and strengths of each um, of each real estate agent we work with. And you can see like she likes simplicity. She likes really like uh, neutral colors. So here we also show like use those colors, making sure it's on brand for her. Um, also, we have this another incredible client who's an agent, but he he's like a historian. He like he's so good at like it would um, he understands New York history so well. He does those videos about different neighborhoods. Ooh. So whenever he yeah, so whenever he has like a he's an expert, let's say in Harlem. So whenever he has a listing, uh, let's say in Harlem, he will go and do a video kind of talking about the neighborhood, the history of it, how it evolved, how it became from like being super dangerous to like one of the flourishing neighborhoods in New York City. So we do like create videos like that you can see. Um, of arts. Here. This satellite was constructed in the 1930s with money donated by John D. Rockefeller Jr. Rockefeller acquired the land here along with medieval art and artifacts from sculptor and art collector George Gray Barnard. These include- So, oh, so sorry, I accidentally went. Yeah, so basically here we're kind of like trying to show you how we show use like uh one's talents and interests um with real estate together and in this case like jeff he actually did like a long video it was like maybe one or two minutes long and we use a little snippet of it on a story and then if you will see like, the full story you would say for the full video like check out my in-feed post or go to my IGTV. so it kind of like the teaser as well and it brings more attention towards the towards his actual content his views he's also trying to grow his youtube so we usually post these little teasers on the stories and then we like Ooh. check out a video on youtube so if you're a youtuber stories are amazing for i love this and just so, so you know daria and ryan we just had one of our friends uh Janki patel who's also a moderator in lab coach she's like done this is amazing she's signing up so just so you know Right. <laughs> Amazing. So. Um, so yeah, and then again, like we see almost every single um, story has a call to action or some sort of question. And we ask, what's your favorite landmark? What do you want to learn about? And like, we actually have so many people saying, oh, can you like tell us more about financial district? And actually Jeff over the quarantine, he will go to these locations and just like sh film short videos. Um, and it's really charming and appealing to showcase how knowledgeable um, you are about like, the areas you work in. Um, so here are just a few more stories to showcase. Um, here you can see 
like we, we really ask like people, oh, do you prefer this type of kitchen or this type of kitchen, you know, like really, um, like really trying to engage them, you know. Um, this is a good example of like a... Wait, just real quick. And also, if you just like, if you see the graphic design, it's just, you know, it's different than your average Instagram post, you know, it's high end, it's curated. And, and I feel like our clients like want that for their brand, like their brand is part of their Instagram and to have like, you know, high end design and just everything kind of like in sync, it, you know, that's what we, re we take our clients to just on another level. Uh, as far as like look goes when it comes to social media yeah and you can see how like for instance on the left it's like more professional design and on the right we're just using like instagram's um fonts so it kind of shows like you know i'm a i'm a i'm a real person i'm not like always sitting there designing my posts i sometimes go in and just like post it you know so we also like make sure people don't think it's an agency that like does everything for you you know we want people to think it's like actually you posting um, and I think this is a good example over here. Another good example, like um, the story on the right, um, we have an agent, he lives in Tampa, and we feel like one of his strengths is really showcasing how beautiful the, uh, the town and the, even in the state of Florida is. So he really showcases all of the places of interest, like all of the uh, beautiful, uh, all, all the beautiful nature, even museums, even, even things that are open right now. We always have like these weekly roundups of like, best patios or things like that of course we try to make it relevant to like your area of um, business as well um <clears throat> of course using like little like features like this here like how much do you like the this beautiful living room and as ryan said like if someone like votes like 100 percent like and you see they're in, in the same city as you are and you're like huh maybe you'll be interested to like look at it so reach out to them and be like, I saw you like it. Like, what do you like the most about it? Tell me, you know, like and start the conversation. Um, here's, we just did like, this is like an example of event. Like it was for the fashion brand, but you can, you can also apply to um, open house, for instance. So we can do like open, open house, open house, open house, a virtual tour, you know, happening. Um, and then we usually like have this really nice like story like this and we can be like okay for the full information go to my infi post and you'll have a nice post with all the details um sorry about that yeah and this one is also an example of um of the listing where you can see um all the main photos of the listing little descriptions uh, at the bottom of the left you can see we put the logo of the um of the client so it's really personalized so honestly the sky's the limit we can always we can do everything but we, we, we like to like combine things which are like professionally like done really sleek with really natural and real um and i think it's when you have the most engagement because no one wants this glossy perfect you know magazine or website people want to see something again like i don't know connect with yes. so we feel like showcasing personality is like 70% is should be showcasing your personality and 30 your listings in your business. I love it. I have a, something to add here because John has a question. Does, are you posting the content that you create inside of my Instagram account or passing it back to me to post myself? We post for you. Okay. So you post. Basically, yeah. So basically we um, created content for you. And we um, prepare the calendar one month ahead for your in feed. So you know what's going to be happening uh, and you will approve it. And after you approve it, we'll post for you. When it comes to stories, we create weekly calendars because they're more looking like in real time. And then weekly, we send you the plan and you approve it and we post. I love it. So, I mean, what I'm seeing here is kind of, Jeff, and you, you can chime in and tell me what you think, dude. But when I see this, Daria, Ryan, when I see your company, I think of I think of Apple. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel wow. when you say that, Thank but it, it has that feel like like when I when I think of it is you're doing everything for us. You're doing it at a high level and it feels like you're taking this away from us because a lot of us don't understand what it is that we need to post and you're helping us along the way. So 
I, I see a, a very, very valuable thing that you're doing here, but at the highest level. When I was talking to Jeff, when we first talked about your company, I was like, okay, this is cool. This is a new take on it because you're, you're doing it hands-on and you're not so concerned about, well, let's do this for everyone. You're, con you're concerned about doing it really well for a select few. And that stood out to me and to Jeff. I was like, okay, this is different. You're taking care of everybody individually because this is hard what you're doing. And so props to you on standing out in that way because it's very different. Thank you. So, yeah, so the, word I, the word I would use is sexy. I think I've already used it. <laughs> um, it's definitely sexy. And I have a different, I have a, a, an additional take on this for you guys. So anybody who knows me knows that, you know, I'm a social media whore. I, I, I say it, I share a lot. Um, it's been really good for my business. And I share, I just, sh I mean, it's, it, it's working, right? And if there's one thing that I'm probably missing, it's, it is that sexiness. It is that just clean, consistent look because I have done, had a lot of success just sharing my authentic life and people love that but I need to share more business. And this is where a company like this can come into play and even help somebody like me who, who's not lacking on quantity, uh, but you, some might argue I'm lacking a little bit on quality. And that's why I have the, you know, that's why I'm here. Yeah, if you guys, of course, interested, you can check out our, our Instagram, very social NYC. Um, and you can check out my Instagram as well, my secret avenue and Ryan's, Ryan G Cells NYC just to get like, an idea of like of our personal brand. But of course we have so many clients and if you're interested, we can send our case studies um, to you as well. I love it. All right, we put up the link here. We put it up on Facebook as well. And I also put up the link on my Instagram. So if you're following us anywhere there, you're gonna definitely see that. Jason has a question here in closing. What do we got, Jason? Jason Cardos, does Very Social have a Twitter and YouTube page? The links on their website uh, aren't there or don't work. I, look, I think Very Social is mainly focused on Instagram. So that's where you're going to find them. They go all out on there. And Daria just posted it there so you guys can copy it, grab it, and you'll find yeah, it. We, like you can see on our website, our pages, uh, we like do heavily concentrate on Instagram, but we do also Facebook. So if you need help with Facebook, we can help you with that. Also LinkedIn. Um, we don't do it for every single client because not everyone needs LinkedIn, but we definitely have like a team members who are really equipped to help you with copywriting and posting on your LinkedIn, for, for instance, or Twitter. I love it. All right. Thanks guys. Anything you want to add, Ryan, Daria, or Jeff? Nope. Good. Um, All right. I just want to thank you guys for having us on and we're looking forward to, you know, continuing this relationship and working together. Yeah. Dude, I can't wait till my, my uh, well, lab code agents just started with this yesterday, officially, after going through all of putting in content. Now you're developing it. So keep an eye on lab code agents, which is easy. It's at lab code agents on Instagram. So follow them. And then Jeff's getting his board ready. He's almost there. I think maybe another week or so. No, no we're, we're sending his calendar today. Jeff's a, Jeff's a lazy ass. It's his fault. He hasn't started then. I was telling Ryan, he's like so jealous of it. He's like, I want the same thing. Yes. I'm Je Jeff, I'm so jealous of that calendar. I'm, I'm going to take a little tidbit. I'm sorry. Can you, I wanna, can you send me his calendar? Because I want to I see his calendar too for me. Okay. It's good. We also have a special offer for your agents. Ryan, want to talk about it? Um, Daria, you're, doing, you're on fire today. Why don't you go for it? Yeah, so for we have a, like a special offer for lab code agents. We are waiving our five hundred dollar um, onboarding fee, which includes like audit and like all of this questionnaires that we're doing. So that's going to be admitted. And also, if you sign up with us um, this week, uh, there are three packages that we offer. So for instance, if you go to package B, we'll upgrade you for the first month to package C, which has more posts and more um, more just working hours and uh, follow up growth hours. Uh, will be higher as well for the first month. I love it. All right. You know where to find Very Social on Instagram. Yeah. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll put you in contact with them. Thank you so much, Daria, Ryan. We're excited to see Thank you. how this goes. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.